Okay. So here we're given two skew lines, A, B, and C, D. We had a question like this yesterday. Yesterday they were asking us for the shortest possible distance between them. This time it's slightly different in that they're asking for, they are asking for a shortest distance, but they do stipulate it has to be horizontal. So a horizontal distance means it has to be a level line. Now, the initial setup of this question is exactly the same. What you want to do is you want to create a level line from one of your skew lines, and then you replicate the angle of the other one to find point X. We've been through this before. So what I did is I drew a level line from B, going straight across, that's the pencil line there. I replicated the angle of CD, and I replicated that from point A. So that gave me point X. You have to find point X in your plan view. So you drop it straight down, and you know it has to be somewhere along that line in plan view. You don't know the exact location yet. So what you do is you, d you take the steps that you've done in elevation, and you repeat them in the plan view. So what we did is we replicated the angle of CD from point A. So we're going to do that in our plan view. We get the angle of CD, and we replicate it from point A. What you'll find is that will cross over where you've dropped point X downwards. So you find point X in the plan view as well. Now, you have to look along that level line. So the level line is from B to X. So that means in plan view, I join B to X, and that's the direction I look out for my first auxiliary. In your first auxiliary with skew lines, you should be seeing your two skew lines as two parallel lines. As you can see in mine, that's AB and that's CD, and they appear to be parallel. So once you've done that, you're correct. If for any reason they're not parallel in the first auxiliary, regardless of what's asked up here, you're doing something wrong. They have to be parallel. Now yesterday, when we were asked to get the shortest distance between them, what we would have done is we would have come out perpendicular to those two and created a second auxiliary because the perpendicular distance is going to be the shortest. This time they're not asking for the shortest distance, they're asking for the shortest horizontal distance. So rather than looking perpendicular, we have to look horizontally. To look horizontally, you're going to be looking in the same direction as your ground line. Your ground line is your x1, y1 line for the auxiliary. So you have to look out in the same direction as your x1, y1 line. You do that and you create your second auxiliary and bar a <coughs> little bit of inaccuracy because it is very, very tight. The two of them should appear to cross over. They just appear to cross over at the very, very top. So you drop that, that apparent crossover back and what you get is you get a level line that is more or less just going from B to D. There might be a little bit of difference in it. Okay, But we do know it's a level line because it's parallel with the X1, Y1 line. So it has to be level. So we're correct. Then it's just a case of dropping it back to my plan view. So my point on the CD line, my point on the AB line, replicating it here in plan view, and then dropping it up to elevation, and again doing the same thing. So that's the shortest horizontal distance between those two skew lines.